So after much consideration and planning and all this shit, I've decided to finally, finally be able to make a full schedule for my YouTube account. And hopefully I'll be able to follow if there are some days I missed at the beginning. I apologize, but here's how the schedule will go. Typically, I work five days a week, sometimes more, sometimes less. Uh, but typically, that's normal days I work at Walmart. On days off, I'll, I will take nothing more than just recording and editing videos. I know it sounds a bit overboard and little to no time in my own life, but you know what? Sacrifices we must make for beautiful, beautiful things like myself. Even though I'm not. Uh. So how will the schedule go? Well, you'll be able to see videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Hopefully. And today is Friday, so thank you for watching the video of today. The next video will be uploaded on Monday. If there are any hiatuses to certain videos or if I'm late, I apologize. I don't have any specific times I'll upload videos. That's something I'll also be working on later on. But I want to be able to make this channel more accessible for just about anyone. And uploading videos willy-nilly and randomly isn't going to help. So I'm going to upload videos on Mondays. Wednesdays and Fridays. What those videos will be will be depending on what I'm doing, like today. Like the infinite shades of God. Elitist! They suck and we've got them in nearly everything. Not just the gothic subculture. There are elite gamers that think that the way they play video games or the games they play makes them above everyone else and anyone that doesn't have the way that they play video games is beneath them. Or even like film elitists that think that just because they watch so-and-so films or know of these creators and they don't watch any of these films and anyone else that does makes them above them. Or like, I don't know, uh, elitist in, let's say, uh, Jason's. Music! They say if you listen to this era, you're not a true music fan, or if you listen to these people, you are. And these kind of people, elitists, they typically make any sort of group of people look worse than what they really do, because... Fuck! And the gothic subculture, while not prone to elitists, does have a few elitists of their own. And trust me, there are a lot of them that you may have to deal with while in the gothic subculture. So instead of telling you what a goth elitist is, I'm going to be doing something a little different, which I'll be doing for only this Infinite Shades of Goth, being shit elite at goth say. Can I say elite it? I'm a fucking idiot. Without further ado, let's begin! Oh, and by the way, before I mention anything else, if I seem like I'm making fun of a certain uh, kind of person or group of people, I apologize, even though we're all goths here, uh, or if you're not and you just wanted to know more about the subculture, but if it seems like I'm making fun of a person who listens to this or does not, I am not. I'm merely using them as an example because these are typically things that elitist goths usually say. And, um, just because I say, oh, you don't do this, you're not a goth, or blah, 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 doesn't mean I'm not, or I am into this sort of thing. In fact, I'm keeping that a mystery. Let's begin. Only older goths can tell you whether or not you're a goth or not. I've been in the gothic subculture for years! I know so much more than you! You can't consider yourself a goth if you get a hot topic. I mean, even if you don't have many gothic stores to go to, or any stores to sell gothic clothing, and Hot Topics is only your only source, depending on your living location and your source of income, you're not a true goth. You have a t-shirt of sweat not and blah 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 blah, you are not goth. Real gods only listen to blahs. By the way, I love Bahals. I'm not trying to trash talk them. Honestly, I love them. But just because you do or don't listen to Bahals doesn't make you a real goth. Yes! Dyson it's like saying, oh, you don't like clones in Super Smash Bros., yet you play as Lucina. You should be okay with goths. I mean, <laughs> you should be okay with clones. No, it's not. It's like making the best out of the situation that you're given. But that's kind of not the same outcome you have the gothic subculture. If you do or don't listen to Bajas, that doesn't instantly mean you are or aren't a goth. Everyone has different tastes, and the gothic subculture is not based on taste or music or anything else like that. It's more expressing yourself and being yourself. That's what it's all about. Oh, really? You know nothing! You know nothing of the goth subculture. You're just a, a baby bat. You're not a goth. You're like an emo mole kid or something. <laughs> Real gods do not wear trap pants. Only emo mole kids do. <laughs> you are happy and enjoy your life. You are not a god. Do you not know who H.P. Lovecraft is? You are not! 
better be not a real Goliath! Lord Cthulhu! Lord Cthulhu rise! <laughs> that was stupid and I'm sorry. By the way, I love H.P. Lovecraft and Cthulhu. I know I'm gonna sound like a dick in most of this video, and I sincerely apologize. You know nothing of the gothic subculture. You are not a real goth. Don't tell me what to do with my gothic life. You are the one that needs to be told what to do. You like so-and-so and not like blah blah blah? How dare you not even know who blah 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 is? You're not a real goth. But I believe you can't like people like Escape the Fate or My Chemical Romance if you're a goth. You can only like very specific people. Because apparently the gothic subculture is very limiting and not about being yourself. No, not at all. It is very limiting in what you can do. If you say otherwise, you can leave. I say, you all my gothic friends must agree that this abomination does not belong in the gothic subculture. You agree, right? I hope you do agree, because if not, you're not a real goth. I shame you all, shame, literally, in my monocle, shame. Listen, kid, you don't know much about the gothic subculture, I swear to you. I know so much more in my literature of information of the gothic subculture. I know so much. All right, stop, stop. We gotta stop here because I'm sounding like a dick. I'm starting to hear my own voice and I'm thinking I'm starting to sound like a dick and I'm starting to get itchy. I don't know why. Holy fuck. All I'm saying is throughout this video, elitists can sometimes be the worst. And it's not just in the gothic subculture, it can be in anything. But elitists are the one thing I don't like in the subculture. Because honestly, who can tell you what you are and what you aren't? Goth is not very limiting. It's more about expressing yourself. You know, being yourself. Just because you don't wear all black clothing doesn't mean you're not goth. Just because you do or don't listen to uh, Bajas or Children of the Bodom doesn't instantly make you goth or not goth. Goth is merely a way of expressing yourself, and that's something a lot of people need to learn. Well, you label yourself as a goth, so... Yes, and you label yourself as a human, a uh, girl or a boy, straight, gay, lesbian, or bisexual, uh, Christian, Jewish, or atheist, uh, some of this uh, certain race. How's that any fucking different? I mean, typically, yeah, it's more about, um, when it comes to a boy, a girl, or the race thing, it's more about genetics, and in fact, you're human, it's also about genetics, but what I'm saying is... You're okay with calling yourself this, but people who call themselves gods are just labeling themselves. Really now. Anyway, if I seem like I was being a dick in this video, because trust me, I had to stop in the back of my head as I was acting like a dingus back there, uh, that I may have sounded like a dick a few times. If I did, I sincerely apologize. And if I feel like I made some incorrect statements or whatnot, you can put them in the comments below. Or you can suggest what I can talk about in the next Infinite Shades of God. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like. Maybe favorite and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. I make videos almost every day. And remember, we all see fish in the ceiling at least once in our lives.